Hi guys, and today I'm going to be doing a video um, about who I think will get promoted and who I think will get relegated from League One. Just a heads up, late at this point before my dilemma for the Oxford game, I'm going to be doing like pretty much an updated version of the the play the Sunderland players out of contract. Who would I like to keep and who would I like to sell? Like just get rid of at the end of their contract. So for so now I'm going to get start with this video. So yeah. 24th, I've put Rotsdale. The reason why is because I, Rotsdale, do play some good football. But for me, they don't score, score enough, enough goals and obviously they don't win enough games. I, in the last two games, they have like picked up two good results um, a good one at Lincoln and um, a good draw against Peterborough. But they've got a hard fixture list as well. So they've got Portsmouth, Ipswich, Slatewood, Accrington, Blackpool. Don and Doncaster MK Dons to play what's hard and the out pretty much the out I mean if they can continue they might stay up and they do play some good football but I just don't think they'll have enough and I do think they'll go down so yeah. Twenty third I've got the team who we beat um yesterday at Bristol Rovers. The Rays might get to be fair to Bristol Rovers, they did play some good football like yesterday but they're pretty much um, don't have that clinical edge if you get what I mean like a striker that can put the ball in the back of the net they had about three or four chances like what on another day would have went in and as well I, I don't think they actually played that well because of the Joey Barton effect, effect if you get what I mean and the, I, don't, I don't know their fixture list like in full but I know they've got another hard fixture list as well and obviously their best player Sam Nichols has gone for the season so I do think Bristol Rovers and Joey Barton will be playing in League 2 next season. So, yeah, 22nd, I put Wimbledon. The reason why is because Wimbledon actually had a decent start to the season, as we all know. But since the like, um, since they've had their like, COVID outbreak, like I think it was back in December or whatever, they haven't really been like good if you get them in. They've been struggling for form, and I don't think they've like put a consistent like run together. I mean, like the last in the last five games, they drew like um three and won one and um lost one. But it's okay considering a regular battle. But you have got to pick up points, and they've still got a, they've still got a hard fixture list as well. Flay Fleetwood, Ipswich, Oxford, Ipswich again, Portsmouth, and Lincoln are still to play. What's pretty hard, and I just don't think they'll have enough to stay in League One. So yeah, the twenty first I put Northampton. The reason why is because I weren't like I don't know how Northampton's been doing since they've like um sat cave curl. Well, to be fair, I don't even know who the manager is, and to be fair, they haven't really did. I mean, I know they beat Oxford like a few games ago, but they haven't really been playing well recently, and. And again, there's another one who's got a hard fixture list. They've got Hull, Peterborough, Ipswich, Blackpool, and us still to play what in their last um eight. What is hard? I mean, of course, they could still pick up points, but I do think they'll go down, and I just don't think they'll have enough. I don't even know who the manager is. So yeah, so I think Swindon um and um. Wigan will just about beat the drop. I think Burton will be okay as well. So yeah. So now I'm going on to the top six. Six I put Portsmouth. The reason why is because I think the Cowley brothers who came in and she and have absolutely turned Portsmouth around, if I'm honest. As like they'll play better football, they'll probably score goals and they'll win games if you get one being obviously. And they've got it like probably out of the top. I would probably see it. They've got one of the easiest one in the in the league, and I do think they'll have enough to finish in the playoffs. Whether they'll win the playoffs, I don't know. But yeah, but I think they'll do well. And I think I know the Calibers only signed a contract at the end of the season. I think finishing in the top six should be enough for the Calibers to get a new contract at Portsmouth. So yeah, fifth up for Blackpool. Blackpool are actually on a very really good run. I know they drew 2-2 with Plymouth yesterday and like 
concede it in the like last minute of the game. But Blackpool have been on a remarkable run like recently. Like been winning games. They beat Peterborough the other day. I think they beat they beat Portsmouth in that run. Um, they beat um. Oxford as well, what's hard. I mean, arguably the best player is like Elliot Embleton, who's obviously a Sunderland player. And I do think that they'll have enough to like um finish in the playoffs. I mean, if if they were early on the season, I would have said there would be dark horses for um the top two, but I think at the minute they've just got too much to do. I do whether they'll win the playoffs again, I don't know, but yeah. Fourth, I've put Lincoln City. The reason why is because um, Lincoln, I mean, um, they've been crippled this season by injuries. Like, their best couple of players are all like, are injured, like, John Grant, um, Hopper. Like, Grant, the best player, Hopper, like, um, the best striker, Walsh, the centre off. Bricko came off injured against Oxford. And I believe that the injuries will catch up on them in the end. I do think they'll be good enough to get in the playoffs. But again, whether with them is my guess. So yeah, like anybody else's. Third, I put Hull City. The reason why, because any one of the top three could, could be fair. I've just put Hull because, I mean, although I do think they've got the easiest running out of the top three, like... I think that, like, a played like one too many games. Like, if you get what I mean, I do think they've got a great squad and they could age finish in the top two. But I think they'll just miss out. So yeah, second I put Sunderland in my club. The reason why I could wave obviously being on a fantastic run recently, where I think like we've won seven of our last eight on beating in ten something like that. I mean. We've kept loads of clean seats, and this, but you've got where we have been playing, um, like the we've only one fit sent back day on Sanderson, be the right thing, and that's another good thing where you're getting played back, like in the business end of the season. Bailey Wright's close to coming back, Denver Hume's close to coming back, George Jones is close to coming back, Tom Flanagan's a few weeks away. That's good, and hopefully, that. That now we can kick on. We've got one of the most informed, two of the most formed players in the league, Ian McGee and Charlie White. McGee for me is the best player in the league still, and I've just believed that this season is our season. Obviously, we do have a hard fixture list. We've still got Hull, Peter Bera, Charlton, Hull, Blackpool twice. I'll still to play on some of the relegation teams like Wimbledon and Northampton and Wigan, but. Not Wimbledon, I mean, I don't know why, but I said that, but yes, but I do believe that we'll have enough to, like, get promoted this season. So, yeah, then winning the league, I put Peter Bear. The reason why I put Peter Bear for me, I mean, are the best team, whether they're the best team in the league, I don't know, but I do think they'll win the league because their squad ridiculous for the level, like, having... Um, Clark Harris, who probably won't win the goal and be with Payne's specific, because obviously with me being a Southern fan, I want Charlie White to win it. Um, then Belly, Smodix, um, Nathan Thompson, things like that. And I've just believed that this season is the season that Peter Pepper get promoted to the Championship. Um, I obviously know they've got a hard one, in the, but I don't can't remember who they're playing, but I know they've got Lincoln, they've still got us to play. I believe it'll be a really interesting and tight end, but I think Pete Bera will win the league. So yeah, who do I think will win the playoffs? I think Hull will win the playoffs. So I do think the top three teams will end up going up, if I'm honest. So I think Hull will be Portsmouth. Then I'm going to put Hull Bay Blackpool in the final and Hull Bay Blackpool. So yeah, so, that's the end of the video. Leave your like. Um, top six and like bottom four like in the comments if you really want to and um, yeah so so obviously like I said I'll be back during the week from pretty much an update video and the police our contract so yeah so um, like subscribe view comment and say yeah